A major court win for about three dozen property owners near the Atlanta Beltline. A judge ordered the federal government to pay them after they were forced to give up their land for construction of the trail. News Edge reporter Brian Hill has reaction from the landowners about the court's decision. The property mentioned in that lawsuit is here behind me along Flagler Avenue in the Piedmont Heights area. Homeowners affected by this situation tell me the past five years have been difficult, but they feel vindicated and are glad to know they may finally be compensated. So I think they're relieved. I think it's been a long time coming. This is what part of the Atlanta Beltline off of Flagler Avenue looks like today. Before construction, it was part of a former railroad corridor. In order to bring this green space to life, attorney Megan Largent tells me the agency seized an average of 6,000 square feet of property from each nearby owner. Many of them had had structures on this property for a long time that Norfolk Southern had tolerated for decades, such as a basketball court, a tree house for children, fences, a judge recently ruled that the U.S. government illegally allowed the Atlanta Beltline to take portions of the property owner's backyards in 2017 without any compensation. 32 landowners were ordered to remove various encroachments on the right of way at their own expense for expansion of the project. Largent's firm out of St. Louis is representing the landowners. What our lawsuit is about is that under Georgia law, they would have had nothing in their backyard. When Norfolk Southern decided to abandon this, that would have extinguished that easement and these owners would have had full use and enjoyment of that 100 feet. Federal law has preempted Georgia law. Um, essentially, it's eminent domain. We need to reach out to the Justice Department, which is named in the suit, but didn't get a response. The Atlanta Beltline, even though they're not a defendant in this suit, did send a statement addressing the 2017 14 County Superior Court's decision and this most recent decision out of the U.S. Court of Federal Claims. They say in part, although the two courts have reached differing conclusions, about the property interest held by the railroad prior to ABI's acquisition of the property. The Court of Federal Claims decision will not impact continued development and operation of the Atlanta Beltline. This isn't against the trail. It's not negative to the Beltline at all. It is simply saying we gave up 100 feet of our land for this without being asked and without being offered to be paid. Largent says they'll now determine exactly how much money those landowners should get. She says the Department of Justice could also still appeal the court's decision, but she doesn't think they will. In Northeast Atlanta, Brian Hill, Fox 5 News.